ever been stuck with no Wi-Fi and you thought, no problem, I'll just use my iPhone's hotspot? Only to find your Mac stubbornly refuses to connect to your hotspot? You are not alone and it's incredibly frustrating especially when you're in a pinch. In today's video, we'll break down why your Mac might be ignoring your iPhone's hotspot and more importantly, how to fix it fast. From simple setting tweaks to hidden tricks that Apple doesn't really advertise, I've got you covered. So stick around and let's get your devices talking again because your connection shouldn't be the thing that's holding you back. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph and in this channel, I teach you quick daily tech tips that make your life a little easier. The first scenario could be that your Mac is not detecting the hotspot from your iPhone. This is likely that your iPhone's hotspot is not enabled. To check, go to your settings, tap on personal hotspot. Make sure you have allowed others to join and entered your Wi-Fi password. Then, pull down the control center, tap and hold onto the top left section and tap on personal hotspot to enable it. Go back to your Mac to see if the hotspot is available now. If it still doesn't show, off and on your Wi-Fi again and see if the hotspot becomes available. The second scenario is that if you see the hotspot but when you click on it, it just circles and it's not able to connect, what you have to do is go to your Mac, System Settings and click on Wi-Fi. Then under Known Networks, right click and select Forget This Network. Then, click on the network again and re-enter your password to connect. The last option if everything else fails is to change your phone name. To do that, go to settings on your iPhone, tap on general, about, and tap name. Here you can change your iPhone name slightly to say iPhone 13a. Then we will reset the iPhone by pressing the volume up button volume down button and hold on to the power button until the screen goes black and the Apple logo comes back on. Once your iPhone has restarted, go to settings, personal hotspot, make sure it's switched on. Then go back to your Mac, search for the network Steph's iPhone 13a and try to connect by entering the password. There you go. If you found today's video useful, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more useful videos like this. Until the next video, I'm Steph, take care and bye-bye.